Hey guys, so first things first, got a new haircut. Look at it, it's so happy. It's so mohawky. It'll look better when you get to see it in person. I'm still figuring out how to style this thing, but new hair. I'm the Mohawk Princess now, and I wanted to uh, bring him another point that uh, vlog's kind of been missing people for a while. You know who you are, Tristan. And I know coming with winter break eve, you're probably gonna have a hard time updating. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna just take winter break off from this and it'll give us time to figure out what we're doing with this now maybe come up with new ideas that's just my suggestion since it's gonna look like it'll be hard for people to do it um anyway on to vlog topic this week let's talk smut and eve this is all your damn fault i don't even know uh, all last night all you could think about was how do i write a good smut story for these four and yes it's four the four friggin the gallo brothers zero and Dre. How do I write smut? First off, it's kind of difficult when only one of them is a girl, but thank God that at least, you know, they're willing to swing every which way, really. Have fun. I'm having, actually having a lot of fun with this, but it's a point I want to bring up here is when writing smut, I don't know, on topic of writing and stuff, there's, you know, we've talked about character development and how to do story developments and stuff. So let's talk about like the elements of like, if you're gonna write an erotic story, do not just simply like jump into it and the fact that there's just sex everywhere and there's orgies going on the corner this and that and you're just like boom everywhere and that's it there's nothing you're like where's the connection where's the feels you know that's not an erotic story that's porn that is flat out that's just porn in a book form you know you want that go freaking go pay 25 dollars on a site or whatever it is to watch them do it live if you just want to get your rocks off. You need to actually, when writing an erotic story, have a story. So you want to have, you know, why are the characters together? You don't want it to just be, they got into bed, they did it done. You, you want to be like, what was the reason they got into bed together? What was that? So that's the problem I'm having right now. Is it's this very deep, intense, like, look how they come a moment and the, 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 it leads up. You need to have the build. The, the rising tensions and things like that. And it's a problem you realize. Yeah, I've read a few erotic stories myself and there are some really good ones. And then there's just some really terrible ones where you're just like, wow, I just read porn. <laughs> That's all it was. And it's mo a lot of the ones is just, you know, they don't get me wrong, people love it. People do. I don't know why. I like reading an occasional porn, not porn, not porn. <laughs> Look, it's on my head now. I like a smut story. And, but I like it when it has a plot. You know, I have yaoi manga, but I don't just read it because it's just guy on guy. You need to have a story behind it. Why did these two want to get together? That makes a story. That makes it interesting for your readers. Throwing them into just a sex scene? I have a book like that. It's just a bunch of little stories about guys doing it. Don't read it really. I really don't. I don't care for it. I don't. There's not a connection between the characters. So that's my little rant on why people need to actually have a story. It doesn't matter what you're writing about. Action, fantasy, comedy, smut. You need a story. And if you don't have a story, don't bother writing it. You know, go cast a draft to a porn company and you'll be better off doing it that way. That's just my opinion on it. Also, when it comes down to the characters, you know, make sure your all your characters aren't like super horny. I know the story I'm writing, two of my characters like that, but We've got two other characters that are not as bad. They're kind of—it's gonna be really weird. But you know, don't have them all just be like, "I'm a girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl." You know, feels. You want feels. The whole point of writing, and after taking on screen writing, is you want to invoke the emotions that these people are going through that you're writing about. You can't get an emotion across other than "Holy shit, this is hot!" Excuse me while I go grab a tissue. You know, <laughs> then. <laughs> You get my point. You, you, you want to actually make somebody be like, oh, this is adorable, and oh, okay, they had sex, okay, oh, but it's so cute. And no, not the, the tissue factor that you get. It, it's, you see I'm getting uncomfortable with this. This is why I'm having an issue writing my own smut lately. Because I'm like, I don't want to just do that. I want to actually have a story. I can't focus anymore. There's your little rant, you know. Make sure your characters are reasonable. And don't just focus on the smut. Focus on the characters themselves. Focus on their background. Focus on the reason why they're even together. Not just 
Oh my god, it's suddenly in the bedroom. Tissues. I'm done. This is... I don't even know. I just... I had to have a topic that's been on my mind only. Thanks, Eve. Thanks for this vlog. It's all your damn fault that I've just spent an entire five minutes talking about smut. I'm gonna go write it now. I'm gonna go work on smut. Have fun, guys. And hopefully you'll see some videos from you guys here soon. If not, like I said, winter break's coming up. And Eve, you live in the abyss. And Tristan, I don't know why you haven't been updating, but I'm sure you have a good reason for it. College life and everything like that. Anyway, peace out. See you guys next week.